Hi, my name is Annabelle, and in this video I'll show you how to create an ocean lane assessment in Validate. An ocean lane in Validate is configured with general information, such as a book temperature and a route, defined by transport steps and transit points. These may be road transport steps for pre-carriage and on-carriage, and intermediate warehouse storage. In our example, we'll create a lane from Rotterdam to Singapore and its book at 2 to 8 degrees. We start by clicking on Create Lane, where we enter the lane name and provide some details. When creating an ocean lane, you have to indicate the transport mode. And when ocean is selected, you can choose reefer or dry container as container type. Furthermore, you can select the book temperature. It is possible to select frozen as a book temperature for ocean lanes with reefer container. To do that, one needs to choose reefer containers while selecting ocean lane and choose the relevant temperature range. When we click Create, we are redirected to the lane configuration screen to further define the lane. First, you notice the various configuration items at the top. You may, for example, add general information, further specify the product category, and indicate the packaging manufacturer. After defining this general information, we can define the transport process. Let's start with a pickup point at the origin of the lane, and let's assume we ship from a site at Novartis in Basel. We simply add Novartis, and validate we use Google to search for the address details. Next, we add a road step from a pickup point. Here we need to supply the road transfer supplier, and let's assume we use the company VTS as a trunking company, and let's say the duration is 600 minutes to Rotterdam with a temperature control truck. Now we have a road step. Let's add the ocean step from Rotterdam to Singapore. For the ocean step, you can indicate duration in days and hours, so that the user doesn't have to calculate the duration in hours while creating lanes. Let's assume that CMA CGM is the inland shipping company, and let's assume ocean transport is used as type of vessel. Finally, let's add the storage duration at the origin terminal at 24. Let's click on Add. Now, a lot of things are happening in the background. The application will look up the capabilities of the locations and create a time plan that uses this information, for example, to determine if steps are performed in a temperature controlled environment and the typical duration. In this case, this data is not directly available, which is indicated here. In such cases, you may need to request it from a supplier or define it within your own company. Please watch the video on adding suppliers and supplier locations to your network to learn how to do this. Now, our link configuration is complete. At a later stage, you can add an approval workflow and share the lane with other parties such as the shipper and the carriers. In Validate, the external parties can also jointly approve the lane with their digital signatures. We'll show this in a separate video. So, let's quickly look at the outputs. First, the lane overview, where we see a summary of our new lane. A more detailed time plan is shown in this screen. And Validate also creates a predicted ambient temperature graph, based on the climate data in January and July. These graphs are considering average weather conditions. Finally, the lane assessments, which include an evaluation of five different factors. Ambient temperature exposure, temperature protection from packaging, quality management, security, and the duration and complexity of the lane. More information about this assessment can be found in our help center, where you can also find more information about other details regarding the lane assessment. Good luck and please contact us for further information.